Hey there folks, I'm Seth on Yeager and welcome back to Only Boss Fights. Today we are going to show you where and how to complete every haunting ground in Banishers, Ghost of New Eden. So without further ado, let's dive right in. First off, the haunting grounds will not open up to you till you have completed the main quest in the third area, which is either whichever you choose, the Harrows or Mount Pleasant and you get the ensnare manifestation. The first one we are going to talk about is the Corrupt Canyon. This is in the north of the Darkwood and you will need to remove the vine holding up the previously unaccessible bridge. Once done, you will head north and see a golden quest mark on your map. Head for here and you will enter the Corrupt Canyon. On entering the Corrupt Canyon, you will need to switch to Antea and go to the leftest part of the ledge to teleport across the canyon. Now jump across the bridge and head right, climb down and you will see the first of three ghost wards. This one is hanging above the path in the arch. Shoot this and jump across. At the end, turn right and you will see a second ghost ward hanging through a gap in the rock face. The third one, you will need to head the other way and you'll find a chest. Do a 180 from the chest and you will see a bridge hanging down the side of the mountain face which has the third ghost ward behind it. To remove this obstacle you have to shoot the bridge down from its pulley revealing the ward. Now that the ghost wards are removed and Tay is free to teleport, head back to where the second ghost ward was and you will be able to teleport across. From this side, you will be able to ensnare the ivy and shoot the two wisps removing the ivy. Make your way back across the way you came all the way to where the ivory was covering the platform. Now that you can climb up to the platform, you can teleport across and find the lost chest, which has the Triola Resilient Amulet completing this haunting ground. Okay, the second haunting ground is far west of the Harrows along the beach and is the shipwreck. First off, start at the boat hold resting spot and then to get through the boat to the shipwreck you need to find the ghost ward which is hidden between the planks of the ship and can only be seen from a certain angle. This took me a while to find. Then use Antea to open the blocked hole in the ship and follow the path till you need to climb and see the shipwreck. From here take a right into the cave and drop down and you will be in the mist. Follow what looks like sound lines to find where the mist is coming from. You will have to shoot down a bridge to get to it because red cannot shoot in the mist you will have to find a way to get out of the mist that gives you the angle to shoot the bridge down. First head right looking at the bridge and you will find a ledge. Jump up and go as far around as you can. Here you can shoot two police to drop a barrier. Go back to the bridge, do a 180 and follow it to the right. 
Here you will find a path and a ledge that gets you to a position where you can shoot down the pelly for the bridge. Now just head back and destroy the source of the mist. Now you can go back into the cave, find some supplies, but nothing special. So just head through where the mist maker was and out of the cave. Now you are at the actual shipwreck. Climb down and you are in another mist. Use the same technique before to find the source of the mist. First you will find a wooden obstacle that Antea can destroy. But that only lets you see it. You cannot get to it. Do a 180, go over the log and to the right up the ledge. You'll see another wooden obstacle that is another decoy that will only let you see the source. Continue around the ship to the proper entrance blocks with a wooden obstacle. Once destroyed, head into the bowels of the ship and take care of the source of the mist. To the right there is a crawl space with some supplies. Take these and leave the ship. Go to where the second wooden blockade was and climb up the ship from here. Head straight forward and under the wooden beam and shoot the far pulley. Head back under the wooden beam and to the right is a gap to shimmy through. At the end, Antea will say job for a marksman and through the planks you can shoot two pulleys. Now head behind you where you shot the previous pulley and make your way to where you're outside on the side of the ship. Here looking at the ship you can shoot a pulley to drop a platform. Lots of pulleys to shoot in this one but now just jump across and climb to the top deck. On the top deck clear what I would expect to be the spectres of the crew and head to the end where there's a yellow barrel and a door as a ramp. Look down between the gap and shoot the pulley. This will open the door on the deck. Climb down and collect the lost chest with the Voyager amulet in it. The third haunted ground is northwest of the Harrows. As you enter, Antea will tell you it's warded. Straight ahead in the top window of the barn is a ward. Shoot this to take out the first one. The second one is in the shed to the left and third one is left of the door to the house which is right of the barn. Now they're taken care of, we can start solving the vine puzzles. The first vine puzzle is straight ahead from where you were entered behind a rock. First go to the left of the rock and open up the passageway to the left with Antea's out first manifestation and then push the car all the way to the end. Now using snare to hit the heart and shoot the first two wisps on the right. The third one is on the left and the fourth one is by the barn. You will have to be quick because the timing window is very short for this one. Now head right to where you entered and blow up the blockade and you will find a side entrance to the house. Move inside and destroy the crate to reveal a wisp and then head upstairs to reveal another. The third wisp is outside that you can see through a small narrow window upstairs. From upstairs you can hit the heart and shoot all the wisps to get rid of the vine. Now head back to the way you came through the side entrance and up to the small barn. At the far end of the barn is a block path that you can destroy. Now to get this vine you need to start in front of the barn, hit the heart 
and then the first wisp which is on the raised stone barrier splitting the barn from the house then sprint round to the right side of the small barn and take out both wisps here this opens a chest and supplies in the small barn Now those vines are taken care of, you can enter the main barn. Go to the left and crouch through the crawl space. Take a left and you will find a shatterable blockade and hidden behind some crates is a chest with supplies in it. Then head round to where you can climb down and shoot the ghost wards you can see from this angle. The next ghost ward you can, will have to go to the back of the cave and destroy the blockade. Crawl through the crawl space and now from this angle you can destroy the vine with two wisps being on the right wall, one on the ceiling and the final one behind you. This opens up a climbing section where following it round will reveal the final ghost ward that you can destroy it and there's also a chest there. Now you can climb back down and destroy the tree and this will open up the path so you can destroy the final vine. Hit the heart, destroy the wisp on the right of the heart, and then the second one above the heart, and then the final one back where you destroyed the tree. This reveals a climbing section where you're back in the house and can climb to the roof and cross to the barn where there is a lost chest at the top. This contains the Hykion Days Bane Ring. This for me was the best ring to use for this game. To the final haunting grounds, the Icy Caverns. This is northwest of the Mount Pleasant area. I completed this after the haunting case of the nurse and her patient, because it opened a shortcut. Head west from Camp Jericho and follow the path till you get to a gap you can squeeze through. Climb up the first ledge on the right and head past the shelter and the scourge nest to another climbing wall. Head left then right till you get to the Blight estate sign. Go past it and you will see a vine puzzle. The wisps are to the right behind a tree and behind you facing the heart. Once done, pass over the ledge and drop down. Go to the left, remove the blockade to find a chest. and then back round and climb up the cliff and follow the path. Destroy the icicles and shimmy through the gap and you will enter the icy cavern. First head to the end of the path on the right and use outburst to drop the icicle. This now opens another path below you, so climb down and climb onto the fallen icicle. Follow the path round to the end, ignoring the crawl space path.
Remove the blockade and continue round the path, shimmying to the end and climb to find another icicle that can be dropped. This now opens a path there, so climb down and now you will be able to go right to the vine's heart. The wisps for this can be confusing with all the other wisps in the cavern. The first on a path above the crawl space where you can drop another icicle and then jump over the gap to find it. Two more are on the ledge by the heart. One by the lost chest and one above you to your left. The final one is on the ledge where you dropped the icicle down to get to the heart. Take these four out and head down to the left through this area to the crawl space. When through at the back is some small icicles to destroy and reveal a place you can shimmy through. Follow this path going right and you will come out the other side of the icy cavern. Here you will find another vine heart. Opposite is another ledge to go across and follow the path to remove a blockable rock, revealing a wisp. Go back to the heart, hit it, take out the first wisp that is below you and then the wisp above you on the icicle and then to the one you just uncovered. Clearing this vine means the path is now clear to use the teleportation at the entrance of the caverns to the lost chest and get the ring of Antikythera. I probably butchered that. Right, that's all the haunting grounds, and let me know what tutorial you need to know next in the comments.